Those throwing events will go off at 4.30 and 4.40, respectively. Discus and shot. Thank you. I'm locked up. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Everyone has one chance to make it to Paris this summer. Who's gonna do it? I don't know. Wish everyone great luck. But today I'm running the 1500 at the Team USA Paralympic Trials for a chance on the Team USA Paralympic team in Paris this year. Now who's gonna do it? I don't know. Hope it's me. Training, training has been tough. Um, living in New York City, it is almost impossible to run without seeing a car. And if you know anything about me and cars, the car always wins. Fighting new dash cam video, it's an extreme case of distracted driving. Your old boy is in critical condition after a crash in Kenner earlier today. Police say the car and an 18-wheeler crashed into each other on Airline Highway. According to investigators, the driver of the car is in stable condition. Um, but training's been going good. I have my sister here, Alexis, Ashley, and then my aunt Cindy, as well as my coach. Or I think I think we're, we're set up for success today. Uh, I'm Rocky Capello. I've been helping uh, Shea with his training since uh, January, February, and uh, just flew in this morning. So kind of excited to see what he does in person. It's been a while since I've watched him race uh, in person, so. Well, kind of exciting. I met Shay uh, September 2019 when he was a uh, overweight frat boy and uh, wanting to walk on to a college team. So gave him a chance, let him run with the girls for a little while and he just kept getting better and better and before you knew it, he was okay. <laughs> okay, okay. What did, I, he's not, what did I do? What did he's I accomplish not, that was okay? It, well, being first team All-American was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he thought he could uh, he could do anything, and then uh, he was introduced to an 18-wheeler, and everything was changed. But otherwise, I think he'd uh, he'd be competing for France in August instead of September. But you know what? It's life's about uh, kind of overcoming things and reaching new challenges and you know one thing at a time baby steps that's what that's what we've said since day one is uh baby steps so it's been five years of baby steps sometimes forward sometimes back but uh yeah i'm looking forward to a step forward today i'm proud of it 1500 meters is one of the meccas in track and field. It is one of the most predominant events because there's distance, no one wants to see you running a whole bunch of circles, but people will watch you for almost four laps. So everyone knows the mile, it's 100 meters short of a mile, so it's, it's a mid-distance distance event. The Olympic A standard for the 1500 today is four minutes and four seconds. If I run under that, you will be seeing me in Paris. If I don't, You'll see me in the States. Another key thing to note, this is, the 1500 is gonna be nationally televised on CNBC. And the reason they did that, because they combined all of the classifications to make the fastest race possible. So there could be multiple people from this heat going to Paris. And honestly, me, as an athlete, I hope as many of us make it as possible. Yeah, it's competitive on the track. Yes, we're going at each other's throats. But at the same time, how many people can we get them to accomplish their dream by going to Paris and representing Team USA? <laughs> About to go warm up, you know, a little two mile warm up, but I trust me, <laughs> already warm. <sighs> Look.
What's complete? Live nerd. Live nerd. Going. I will tell you one thing that's helped. Having Leo here with me. This is Leo. How we doing? He's incredible. I'm doing the check in. Nerves flustering. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Everyone has one chance to make it to Paris this summer. Always had a dream of being an Olympian and to represent Team USA and to have that moment shared with my older sister, my younger sister, um, and my coach who's always believed in me, it's, it's truly incredible. And to hear my friends come, I mean, they were yelling, they were just as excited. It's just, it's just unreal to have that, that support system physically here. I think we all kind of shed tears while we were hugging him at the end, so it was really neat. I'm ecstatic for him. Um, I know he's really hard on himself, and when he puts his mind to something, like he's going to do it, and just seeing him being able to do it was the best. We knew it would be a dream of him, of his, but we just didn't know everything that's going on. Was, it, was, he, was he going to be able to accomplish it? And today he needed a certain time, and he even went under that. So he's doing excellent, and we're all excited that we're able here to be here to support him. He's died. The race was good. It was hot here. I mean, we're in Miami, Florida in the summer. It is hot, 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 hot. But you know what? We did it. Um, hit the Olympic standard. And so next month, Paris, Shea Butt is coming. Let's go. Bro, I got a little, you know, a little gold. A little go gold? That's crazy. But the race, it, it felt good at the beginning. Um, but let me tell you, that last lap, I got booty lock. It was hurting, hurting very, very bad. Training is locked in. We're gonna be locked and loaded. Um, but definitely gonna get the mileage up a little bit. But the big goal is 347, which is the world record. We're coming for it. 
And Team USA is gonna be in full force. Best believe that. Dude, I'm, this is crazy, me and Paris. You need Paris. People thought I was crazy saying that I was gonna be able to get back in shape and accomplish this, but you can do anything you put your mind to. And not only can you talk to talk, but we're walking the walk. We're going to Paris, baby. <laughs>